In the army of the aggressor state Russia, problems with personnel are worsening the number of people wishing to leave the service and avoid death in the war unleashed against Ukraine is growing. As reported by the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense, this is evidenced in particular by the sharp increase in registered criminal cases on the facts of bribery in the Russian army. For example, in the southern military district of the Russian Armed Forces, over the first five months of this year, the number of criminal cases opened for illegal dismissal from service due to health reasons and the provision of illegal leave has tripled. Almost half of such cases are being investigated against the occupiers of the 8th Combined Arms Army of the Russian Armed Forces. Another 36% are related to the 58th Combined Arms Army of the Aggressor State, whose commander was arrested this spring on suspicion of corruption. The report says, It is noted that more than 100 cases opened against officials of military units of the Southern Military District of the Armed Forces concern bribery for providing leave from the combat zone. Among them, 38 cases against servicemen of the 102nd Motorized Rifle Regiment 35 cases against the 71st Motorized Rifle Regiment, 33 cases against the 49th Brigade of the 49th Army. Within the framework of another 43 proceedings, facts of receiving bribes for recognizing Russian occupiers as partially fit are being investigated. The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine emphasizes the level of corruption in the Russian army has always been high. However, Previously, no attention was paid to such cases of bribery. The recording of relevant episodes in the form of criminal cases may indicate an increase in the level of demoralization of the personnel of the occupation forces and a threatening trend for Moscow of fleeing the Russian army by any means, the Ukrainian intelligence noted. In the battles at the front last day, the defense forces of Ukraine eliminated and wounded about 1,370 Russian invaders. Thus, the total number of demilitarized enemy personnel on Ukraine reached 579,490. General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported this. The Ukrainian fighters also destroyed another 293 units of military equipment and weapons of the Russian army. So, the Ukrainian fighters burned another 42 armored combat vehicles, 33 artillery systems, 9 tanks and 1 rocket salvo fire system of the Russian forces. Ukrainian defenders landed 115 Russian operational tactical drones from the sky. In addition, 77 units of Russian vehicles and tankers, 16 special vehicles were turned into scrap were turned into scrap. Since the beginning of the full-scale war, the Ukrainian defense forces have also destroyed 2,407 cruise missiles, 907 air defense systems, 363 aircraft, 326 helicopters, 28 ships-slash-boats and a submarine of the Russian military. General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine said that the aggressor carried out airstrikes in the vicinity of populated areas, particularly, Papivka in the Sumy region. Slobozansk, Lipsy, Vilcha, Horian, Veliki i Berlik, Vovchansk, Pitsaredin in the Kharkiv region, Lyman, Yampil, Makiivka, Chasivyar, Sherbanivka, Druzba, Toritsk, Kurtyamivka, New York, Mykolaivka, Novohrdivka, Zalan, Ivanivka, Pantalimanivka, Hrdivka, Vazdvazenka, Navazhelen, Memrik, Oleksandropil, Hanivka, Trudov, Vodian, Veseli i Hai, Yelizavativka, Storozhov, Blahodadn, Novodonetsk, Staromayorsk, Urizhain in the Donetsk region, Lobkov in the Zaporizhia region, Novokamiansk, Stepov, Chervoni i Yar in the Kherson region.